you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Get the ball. Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker. Alert flare. Alert flare. Flare. Let's go. Let's go. Alert three. Alert three. Allen. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Spawn, spawn, spawn. No, no, no. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now a give to Breda. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Run the game, helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, last drive, they went three and out. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Breda. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-oh, -uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Second and goal at the 11-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and goal, Allen. And he will find his man on the outside. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. For the lead, here's third and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. 
And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs to keep possession of the football. Yeah, this is going to be a Panthers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Newton on first down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because... You just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Ready, 180, Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Check, 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 check. Eight. And 25. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us, and let's go. Their time to shine. And he's taken down inside the 30. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 4th quarter, 2 minutes on the clock in a tight 1 point game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. Second and 5 now. Newton, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And on this one he'll get to the 15, right at the 15 yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Newton to throw. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Newton. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. This is McCaffrey on the give. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And Newton's going to keep it. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to solve this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Under 
Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And he will get into the end zone. It's two points and also a two-score advantage as the lead swells to nine. And I believe he was able to get this back. He was. Boy, after giving up the touchdown, lucky that didn't turn into another. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Allen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Here's Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Justin Burris. And the Panthers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Now Newton, looking long for Thomas. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. And the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Newton's going to throw it. Over the middle, complete. It's Marshall. Touchdown! Terrace Marshall, a 20-yard touchdown. And thanks to the interception, the Panthers' offense cashes in with six. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Cam looking to throw. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. a penalty flag down so they hit the ball before it went 10 yards i know that's tough but you got to stay disciplined it is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football it's that type of a play but you're exactly right have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first first and 10 and they've got three tight ends out there a jumbo package look to the air allen and Diggs has it and with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. So they still get the completion even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. It's a little risk-reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback. And so he gets completion here. Congratulations. Keep coming at him. And hope he will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs.